pollination once male and female gametophytes both are ready then the transfer of male gametophytes to the female gametophyte is necessary for the fertilization pollination is nothing but the process of transfer of male gametophyte to the female gametophyte this is the process of transfer of pollens to the stigma of the pistil so that pollens can reach to ovary and the egg and fertilization can take place pollination is of three types autogamy geotonomogamy xenogamy autogamy is when the pollen grains are transferred onto the same flower that is male and female gametophytes both are present on the same flower and uh, pollens from the anther of same flower reaches to the pistil of the same flower this is autogamy there is no uh, cross pollination or no genetic differentiation in this case this is geotonomogamy in this the plant is same but flowers are different that is you can see you can see very well around you that on a same plant there are numerous flowers so uh, the pollens of one flowers the anther will dehisces and the pollen of one flower will reach to the pistil of other flower this is geotonomogamy then is xenogamy in xenogamy all together the different plant that is the pollens of say a distantly located plant reaches another plant this leads to cross pollination and this is responsible for various genetical characters modification or genetical changes what we see around now how this pollination occurs various agents which leads to pollination these agents are biotic and abiotic biotic if we'll study animals are the agents which leads to pollination now why and how this happens pollination through biotic agents which are animals animals usually come close to plants in search of certain rewards or certain favors what they get in turn is nectar and pollens we all have tasted honey in, in our life honey is nothing but the nectar sucked out by honey bee and certain chemical processes occur and thus honey is formed so pollination through biotic means is occurring when animals need nectar and pollens now to attract animals plants in which pollination occurs through biotic means are having large flowers smells as well as bright colors these are these three are the means or medium to attract the animals towards the plants so that when animals will come in contact of the plants they'll carry pollen grains pollen grains will be shed either they it will be on their skin on their hair or on their nails and when they'll move across these pollens will be transferred to the other plant or to the female reproductive part now this pollination through yes there is a very special case of plant known as amor fo amorphalus in this this is the flower which is usually 6 feet high now the plant comes to lay uh, sorry the animal comes to lay eggs on this and in turn takes the pollen and transfers it thus the insect which comes to lay egg on this completes its life cycle on the flower 
and in turn leads to pollination. Now is abiotic agents, abiotic agents are wind and water. Water is a limited medium of pollination but yes it is a medium of pollination in case of plants like sea grasses in which flowers are submerged the surface of water the pollens are long ribbon like and they move passively across with water but in case of plants like water hyacinth in which flower is on the surface of the water it is not submerged in it the pollens are usually transferred by wind or animals as in case of the plants on land now the specific characteristic of uh, pollens which are to be transferred by water are they have a mucilaginous coating above them so that to pre prevent the wetting of them by water next is wind wind example could be corn cob the only criteria for the pollens to be transferred with by wind is that they should be light and non sticky so that once the wind is blowing they can easily travel with the wind and thus pollination can happen so this is the process of pollination which shows three features autogamy geotonomogamy xenogamy and further the agents which leads to transfer these agents are abiotic as well as biotic